Welcome to our sixth kindergarten math lesson. Um, today we're going to be looking at story problems again. So um, this will be one of our shorter lessons, but we're going to look at um, some things that we haven't looked at before. And it'll be adding and subtracting uh, multiple numbers. So I'll show you what that means here in a second. Story problems. So, um, I'm going to read it to you and we're going to go through it slowly because there's an extra step in these that we have not been over before. Uh, this story problem says Jalen has a pack of gummies. There are four pink gummies, three green gummies, and five blue gummies. How many gummies does Jalen have? Okay, so the question is asking us how many gummies Jalen has. So think for a second, would you be putting these different colored gummies together to figure out the answer to that question? Or would you be taking any away? Tells you there four pink gummies, three green gummies, and five blue gummies. And the question is how many gummies does Jalen have? So think about that. Let's draw a picture of our story. So I'm going to draw my four pink gummies. One, two, three, four. Then it says right here, three green ones. One, two, three. And then five blue ones. One, two, three, four, five. So this kind of shows me a picture of all the different gummies Jalen has. And our question asks, how many gummies did Jalen have? So how do you think we're gonna figure that out? We have our picture and our question. Do you think I could count them all up? I could, I could count them all up to see how many gummies Jalen has. Let's count them together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. Jalen has 12 gummies, but we really need to write it as a number sentence. So we are putting together three different types of gummies here. So this is the new and tricky part. How many pink gummies did I have? I had four. How many green gummies did I have? I had three. And did I take anything away or did I put them all together? I put them together, so I'm gonna use a plus sign. My four pink gummies plus my three green gummies because plus, this plus sign means put together or join together or to get more. So I had these four pink gummies and then I got three more and put them with it. But do I only have pink and green gummies here? No, I do not. I also have blue gummies. So I can't put my equal sign and answer the question yet. I have to say, and we're gonna get some more. We are gonna get more. So I'm putting another plus sign. I have my four pink plus my three green plus my five blue. I put three numbers together. So if I put four, three, and five together, I'll have my answer. So the answer is it equals, do you remember what our answer was? That's okay. We can go back and count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve. My answer is twelve. Jalen had twelve gummies. Very good. So let's look at a different one. I added three numbers together, and I can even add four or five or six if that's what the story problem is asking me. Now this one's uh, similar in that we're going to have more than just two thing, two things, or two numbers to work with. But um, let's see if you can notice how it might be different. 
So this one says mom has 10 jelly beans. She gives four to her daughter and three to her son. How many jelly beans does mom have left? So let's draw a picture of it. It says mom has 10 jelly beans. Let me draw those 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And this is all of the jelly beans mom had, right? She only had ten. But say she gave four to her daughter. So how am I gonna show that she gave four of these gummies away to her daughter? I'm gonna take them away because they're not there with mom anymore in this big group of jelly beans. She gave them away and her daughter has them now. So let me take away the four she gave to her daughter. I wrote my sentence first. One, two, three, Four. So I started with 10, okay? I had 10 jelly beans, but then I'm not getting any more this time. I'm actually taking away. So I wrote the minus sign. So I had I had 10 jelly beans. So I'm starting my normal sentence down here. I had 10 jelly beans and I gave how many away to, uh, or how many did mom give away to her daughter? Four. So I took away four. But is that all mom did? No, she gave some to her son, too. It says she gave three to her son. So I also need to take away three that she gave to her son. So I subtracted again. I used that minus sign. Minus means take away. And I took away three that time. So I had 10. I gave four away to the daughter and gave three away to the son. Now, did she give any to anybody else? No, she did not. That was it. So now we can figure out our answer. Our answer is, what is the answer to the question? How many jelly beans does mom have left? So look at your picture. How many jelly beans does mom have left after she gave all of those away? These are the ones she has left. One, two, three. Mom gave, or she gave away these, but then she has three jelly beans left. Great job. So today we looked at taking away or adding more than just one or two numbers. We actually took away, we worked with three different numbers this time to find our answer. And then our addition problem, we worked with three different numbers as well. You guys did a great job with that. That is it for that lesson. I told you it was going to be a quick one. Um, and I will see you guys next time.